Welcome to a different kind of video. Today's theme is not a specific camera. It's not a film stock. It's not a technique like film soup or bleach bypass. Today's theme is a place, but it's not a profile of a whole town like I feature in some of my other series. Today's theme is a shopping mall. And I know that might sound a little strange at first, but this is not just any random shopping mall. This is what's known as a dead mall, specifically Upper Valley Mall in Springfield, Ohio. Now a dead mall is an enclosed shopping center where the vacancy rate often exceeds the occupancy rate. So you're left with a bunch of empty storefronts. I got the tip that this particular mall was closing this month, June, 2021 from fellow Ohio photographer, Jeremy Mudd, who is Mud Jeremy on Instagram. Now, if that name sounds familiar, it may be because I featured a couple of stunning images by Jeremy in my Film February video a while back, and he actually won the prize for Film February from David Hancock for his work. So his Instagram feed featured an image from the Upper Valley Mall, and it let me know that the mall was closing soon, so I knew I had to act fast if I wanted to capture this mall before it was shut down. And since I was going to be inside, and since sometimes these dead malls don't always bother to turn on all their lights, I knew I needed high-speed film, so I headed over to one of my local stores, Midwest Photo Exchange, to pick up some Portra 800. I loaded the portrait into my Canon Rebel Ti and I was ready to go. All the images you're about to see were processed with Cineso C41 chemicals, and then scanned with my Epson V550 using Epson Scan 2 software. Stick around after the images and I'll share with you the personal reason why dead malls resonate with me.
So dead malls are of particular interest to me because I have some personal experience working at dead malls. Two of the malls I worked at in the 90s have been shuttered, and one of the offices that I'm currently working at is in a mall that looks like it may be on its way out too. Each month seems to bring another vacancy or two, so even though it's not as dire as the situation at Upper Valley Mall, well, the writing's on the wall. Now, Upper Valley Mall has the capacity for 55 storefronts, but on the day I was there, there were only six stores open, so its time has come. As these malls die, again, the lights may be dimmed, the heat or the air conditioning may or may not be on, the trash sometimes piles up, the floors don't always get mopped like they used to. It's a trend I've witnessed before, and unfortunately, it's getting more and more common. Online shopping or e-commerce has taken its toll on some of these enclosed malls, and I think that the lockdowns we've had in this past year may just be the final nail in the coffin. As sad as it is to see, I think it's important to document these situations if only to show future generations a time capsule of the era in which we live. In keeping with the retail theme, if you want to check out some great neon signs, make sure to click the cards at the end of this video. That'll do it for this one, and until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.